I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to ask you a question today. Where is your hope? Because you know the Bible says where a man's heart is, that's where his treasure is as well. Doesn't it say that? That's exactly right. Where is your hope? Where is your treasure? What are you spending your time with mostly while you are here on earth? You see, some of us are in a state of depression because maybe your hope was in your money and maybe because of the devaluation of the currency, you've lost half of your life savings. And that's tough. Make no mistake. But where's your hope? See, see, maybe your hope was in your rugby team. And I'm not joking. Maybe it was in your soccer team. Maybe it was in the government. Maybe it was in your health. That you're a comrade's runner. You've run that uh, race, an unbelievable race, and now you can't run anymore because your knees have packed up. Where is your hope? Where a man's treasure is, that's where his heart is also. I want us to go to the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 5. Listen to this beautiful promise. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. Our hope is in heaven. Now you sit in there and you say to me, Angus, yeah, that's true. I believe that too. Well, why do you spend so little time on preparing for heaven and so much time preparing for the short time you're here on earth? You see, folks, I'm not having a go at you. I'm asking you a question. If you are battling with no peace in your heart, no purpose for living, Maybe you feel rejected. You feel that you've been chucked out. Maybe the company now has put you on, an, on a retrenchment because they say you're too old. Maybe you're not in the first team anymore because you're not fast enough. You see what I'm saying? All of a sudden, your whole life has crashed around you. That's why you hear of famous people often, famous film stars. That's right. Famous sportsmen, they end up taking their lives, committing suicide. You say, why? Because their hope was in the wrong place. If your hope is in heaven, okay, then we live here on earth. We do our best, make no mistake. We get stuck in, we help people, we build things, we use the gifts that God's given us, but our hope is in home, home time. Okay? You and me are sojourners. We are travelers in a foreign land. This is not our home. So don't put your roots down too deeply because you're going to be disappointed. Okay? You see, you can judge how much faith you've got in home and how much faith you've got here by how much time and effort and money you spend here as opposed to home. The Lord has promised us, I'll read it again, because of the hope which is laid up for you and for me in heaven. That's where our security comes from. Here on earth, we have lots of toil, sweat and tears. But when we get home to heaven, my dear friend, we're going to have rest. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to worship God. We're going to be in His presence. No more crying. No more fear. No more anger. No more violence. No more striving to be the best. We're going to be with Jesus. Okay? So we work hard and we strive hard for the life to come. We persevere for that which we are still going to inherit. There's one thing that I want to strive for, folks, here on earth, is to hear that voice of sweet Jesus saying, Well done, good and faithful servant. Come and enter into thy rest. I want to encourage you, stop spending so much time on trivial things that will just pass away. They just blow away like the flower in the field, like the grass in the field. Start spending time and effort in things which are going to last forever. And that's where your peace and that's where your joy and your purpose is going to come from. May God bless you as you start to live for the life to come. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.